Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. So today is Saturday, September 24th. It's my parents' anniversary today, and, and they're, all, they're out of the house going to the beach, Ocean City, Maryland. And, I, and I'm staying here with my, with my dog, Louie. So, yeah, taking care of him. So, so yeah, so while, while my parents were, are, are out for their anniversary at Ocean City, Maryland... Me and my cousin Ashley and her best friend Heather, her her friend Heather actually went also went went with us to see this movie today. And 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 so together, me Ashley and Heather, all three of us together, went to Regal today, and we went and saw Olivia Wilde's second movie she directed. And and my and my and this is going to be my movie review on Don't Worry, Darling. Don't Worry, Darling is the second movie directed by Olivia Wilde after Booksmart. And yeah, and, and by the way, I, I did enjoy Booksmart. I thought Booksmart was a really great movie. So, so in this movie, Don't Worry Darling, it's about it's about a woman named Alice, like set and this movie set in the in the 1950s. In the 1950s, Alice and Jack lit lit live in, in the idol idealized community of Victory. Yeah, Victory. Yeah, there you go. They they it's like both Jack and, and Alice lit, live in this community known as Victory. And which is an experimental company town that houses the, 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 the men who work on a top secret project. While the husbands toil away, the, the wives get, get, get to enjoy the beauty, luxury of, of their seemingly perfect paradise. However, when cracks in, in, in her life in her life begin to appear, exposing flashes of something sinister lurking below the surface, Alice can't help but question exactly what's, what, what she's doing in victory. And, and of course she and of course Alice is basically going through going through hallucinations and dreams and all that stuff and after like after she after she sees a plane crash in, in, into into like the into into like the hillsides and yeah we got ourselves don't worry darling so <clears throat> so so <clears throat> I remember seeing previews for, for don't worry darling and, and and it did look pretty interesting to me so so, like I said, me and Ashley and Heather all saw this movie together at Regal today, and and my cousin Ashley liked it, and her best friend Heather liked it as well. And for me, I actually liked it. I actually thought "Don't Worry, Darling" I thought was a really good movie. It's not as good as Book Smart, I will say that, but 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 it's still an enjoyable movie to me because I, I do think the visual styles, like the visual, the visuals are are like very nice, and I thought the cinematography is like very cool and. Even the acting performances I thought were really good too. Like there, there are some talented acting. Like, like Florence Pugh as as Alice. I thought she did a great job in this movie, and yeah, everyone else did good. Even aside from Olivia Wilde directing this movie, she's also in this movie too. And I thought her performance I thought was pretty good. Gemma Chan was in the movie. She did good. Nick Kroll's actually in the film. I thought I thought Nick Kroll was pretty good. And yeah, it's like. I thought everyone else did 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 a did a, fun, did a fine job working on this movie. Don't worry, darling. And and I will say my 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 only complaint I have with Don't Worry, Darling is that is that there are some there are some some occasional times where 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 some, where some of the visuals and where some parts get a little confusing and you, and you don't really understand what's going on with with Alice and and but but of course that didn't really ruin the movie for me because I still think this was still a really good movie and it, and 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 the confusing scenes didn't really ruin the movie for me. It's like as me and as me and Ashley and Heather were walking out of the theater, my 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 cousin Ashley even said that she was wondering what well, what exactly happened after like like the after the movie ended, which I'm I'm not gonna go into full detail. I'm not gonna go into full spoiler the spoiler detail because I don't want I I usually don't want that here on the here on this channel when whenever I do videos like this. But <clears throat> but but even but even even I've seen a lot of critics out there where we're actually not really liking this movie, but. But I, but you know what? I don't really care because I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really good. Even when I watched the news this morning, I actually saw that DC Film Girl on WBAL TV 11 News. I saw DC Film Girl actually actually enjoyed this movie. Don't worry, darling. And she gave this movie four and a half out of five stars. Yeah, and like after she gave the Woman King a a, a five out of five, which I've been hearing I've been hearing awesome things about the Woman King. I still haven't seen the Woman King, but maybe I will one day. I don't know. But but I got some other movies to see on my watch and yeah. So yeah. 
overall, Don't Worry Darling was a really good movie directed by Olivia Wilde. And I'm going to give Don't Worry Darling four and a half out of five stars. The exact same score, I, I the, the exact same, same score DC Film Girl rate, rated this movie. Because I definitely agree with DC Film Girl on w, WBL TV 11 News. Like, I definitely agree with her that, that I, I, I also give Don't Worry Darling four and a half out of five stars. So yeah, if, if you haven't seen Don't Worry Darling yet, then I say give this movie a watch. I recommend it. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Don't Worry Darling. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, stay tuned for more movie reviews coming your way here on this channel. And as always, goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.